Everybody loves to keep secrets, especially the militaries of the world. They're always cooking something up in the dark recesses of the world to either keep us safe, blow stuff up, or maybe even probe some aliens. And whether the rumors of places like Area 51 are true or not, hold on tight to your tinfoil hats, because in today's video we're going to take a look at the top 15 most secret military bases. Number 15. Thule Air Base The Thule Air Base in Greenland belongs to the United States, and it also is one of their most isolated. The Thule Air Base houses equipment that serves just one purpose, to keep on the lookout for an intercontinental ballistic missile launch. So in the unlikely event that missiles do ever come flying towards the United States, the American men and women in this base in Greenland will be the first to know about it. This technology is known as the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System, or BMUS for short. It's pretty simple when you get down to it. It's a radar that works by shooting a steady stream of waves that then bounce off of the uppermost part of the Earth's atmosphere, the ionosphere. This allows the system to identify any incoming threats within a matter of seconds. So anything that's up there that shouldn't be is going to get noticed real quick. The base, though, is in the North Pole, so getting all of that fancy equipment working around the clock can be tricky because of the extreme cold. Then there's also the four months out of the year where there is literally zero sunlight and the storms that can give you frostbite if you're too exposed for just one minute. Access to and from the sea is also a no-go when the sea is frozen over for a full nine months. Number 14. Harp Research Station if you've ever done some quality reading about conspiracy theories, then there's a good chance that you've heard of the HARP Research Station in Alaska. The station's main objective is to shoot lots of high-frequency radio waves through the Earth's ionosphere for research purposes. But come on, who's really going to believe that's all they do? That's just way too boring for a research station all the way out in Alaska. But the rumor suggests there's some pretty solid evidence that the HARP research station partakes in the testing of electromagnetic mind control equipment, geoengineering, and even top secret weather modification technology. It's no secret that the United States has conducted some pretty odd experiments during the Cold War, so certain things may be within the realm of possibility. Some people have even theorized that the HARP station is used to beam holographic images into the sky, but one thing's for sure, and that's no one knows for sure. Number 13. Portin Down The U.S. isn't the only country out there known for pulling off some freaky experiments in the name of science. Don't forget about our friend, the Brits. So, the British Portin Down is one of the most secretive and sensitive facilities in all of the United Kingdom. But what we do know is that it's used for chemical and nuclear research. This hush-hush military facility covers a whopping 7,000 acres of land, which kind of comes off as a bit strange. But the talk of the town is that they use the facility to develop some seriously nasty biochemical agents. But if you're making these kinds of things, then you're going to have to test them on live subjects. They test on animals, which is its own beast, no pun intended. But then there are the rumors of the live human subjects, too. The thing is, no one really knows for sure. And you have to ask yourself, do you even really want to know? Not long ago, though, it was discovered that over a hundred pigs were blown up as some part of weird experiment that got animal rights activists up in arms. Number 12. Devil's Tower Camp It's a pretty safe bet that anything with the word devil in the title is going to be pretty nefarious and something you may want to stay away from. So the military base known as Devil's Tower Camp should hopefully be no different. It's an army installation in British-controlled Gibraltar, and that domain has been under British rule since 1713. But they really made their presence known there not long after World War II ended. The Devil's Tower camp is home to a regiment of soldiers who are armed and just itching to fight in the event that Gibraltar ever becomes contested land. They really, really want to keep their foothold in that area. And probably forever. The troops stationed at Devil's Tower Camp are prepared for a wide array of assaults, but the odds of them ever needing to be deployed are pretty slim. It's a strange operation, but the facility itself is chock full of secret passages and plenty of underground systems to keep everyone's movement as under wraps as possible. But to make things even stranger, there's even a fake town complete with a soccer pitch to simulate urban warfare. Number 11. The Dulce Base Right on the border of Colorado and New Mexico is the Dulce Base. It's actually its own quiet little town, though, with a population of 3,000 people. The day-to-day -day operations of the base are pretty standard, and most of the citizens of this base lead mundane lives. 
but it's when you go underground that things start to get worrisome. The base is home to a secret underground genetics lab that allegedly is used for work on extraterrestrial genetic engineering. So for all of you non-nerds out there, that means that they're doing something to these aliens to make them work for us. A new type of warfare, perhaps. No one really knows, which is an incredibly scary thought. But the story that says an engineer working for the United States with high security clearance came across a seven-foot-tall gray alien when he was working on the base. So naturally, he shot it, marking the beginning of what's been called the Alien-Human Battle of Dulce, which left 60 humans dead. Does this story sound like it's been ripped straight from a Hollywood flick? Of course. Should it be taken with maybe a few grains of salt? Yeah, definitely. But did it actually happen? Well, dead men tell no tales, and don't even get us started on the strange cattle mutilations in the surrounding area. The whole place is just plain weird. Number 10. Dugway Proving Ground The military is always working on the latest and greatest weaponry to vaporize anyone who opposes them. But they have to build and test them somewhere, right? So that's where the Dugway Proving Ground comes in. Located in Utah, it's said that this is where all of the next-generation weapon systems, aircraft, chemical, and biological weapons are tested. And if that is the case, then this is one dangerous place, especially if anything got into the wrong hands. The Dugway Proving Ground is the size of Rhode Island, which is plenty of space for some seriously weird experiments to go on. Why does a military facility need to be the size of an entire state? Well, within the walls of the Proving Ground is a 48,000 square foot chemical testing facility where chemical warfare detection and clothing and devices are tested. There are plenty of rumors about this place, including those that say Dugway Proving Grounds are home to exact replicas of existing buildings that were at some point filled with Japanese furniture. Nobody knows why they did this, and if that's true, then it's weird. But just what or who are they testing all of these chemicals on? We don't want to know. Number 9. Mount Raven Rock Nestled right next to Pennsylvania and Maryland is Mount Raven Rock, which was established during the Cold War. Since then, it's had plenty of name changes, like Site R and the Underground Pentagon. And the latter should give you an idea of what just might be going on here. Facilities at Mount Raven Rock have probably been the influence for sci-fi movies, because the purpose of the site was to house all of the U.S. government officials in the event of a nuclear holocaust. And that would mean that the rest of us just fry. The catch, though, is that the site only houses enough supplies and equipment to make it for about 30 days after the initial nuclear attack. So a final stronghold of humanity, this is not. But government officials are incredibly secretive about just what goes on in Mount Raven Rock, and rightly so. But the people want to know. Plus, there's also the weather monitoring technology used by Air Force One here as well. But there's no way we believe that's all they're using it for. Number 8. Yulin Naval Base You can't talk about government secrets without talking about China. Over the last few decades, they've proven to be one of the strongest economic and global powers in the world. So they need to maintain that image at all times. So that's why they built the Yulin Naval Base, which holds a whole slew of important Chinese plans to show off their domination of the South China Sea. The base is slowly but surely turning out to be probably the most essential army installation for the country. It currently holds their nuclear submarine projects, which makes perfect sense given the location. But the South Sea Fleet has made its home at the Yulin Naval Base as well. It's not just a facility for maritime warfare. There's also a solid amount of surface vessels, aircraft, and surface-to-air missile launchers to ensure that the base is safe and sound from foreign attacks. No one is going to mess with this place. But maybe even more importantly for the country is the fact that the overall presence of the Yulin Naval Base ups its bargaining and coercive power in not just the South China Sea, but frankly everywhere around it. Number 7. Camp Century As we'll see here, the U.S. had no shortage of countermeasures and bases all over the world in the event of a nuclear attack from the former Soviet Union during the decades-long Cold War. Deep under the Greenland ice cap is Camp Century. Many people thought that we'd never see it again due to the icy location, but as temperatures rise across the globe year after year, this secret military facility started to rear its little head from out of the snow. The United States Camp Century is actually 150 miles away from the Thule Air Base, too. It was built as part of something called Project Ice Worm, but it's not as wild as you think. 
Camp Century served as a nuclear launch site that was meant to attack after surviving the first wave of an all-out nuclear exchange with the Soviets. But the site was controlled by the world's first versatile atomic generator and was lovingly referred to as the City Under Ice. How fun! There were also the two-mile systems of underground passages 26 feet below the cold surface that was home to plenty of research centers, a doctor's facility housing for up to 200 officers, and get this, a movie theater, church, and a general store. Number 6. Taiping Island Hanging out again in the South China Sea is Taiping Island, which is also globally known as Ituaba Island. But we think the latter name sounds like the hideout of a James Bond villain more than it does an actual place. The island is small, less than a mile long, and just a quarter mile wide in width. It is one of the newer secret military bases out there in the world, which has people a little concerned. It's one thing to have some leftover sites from World War II or the Cold War, but what are the folks at Taiping Island preparing for? The most popular bit of speculation is that it does in fact have military use, but this comes at a sensitive time in history where Taiwan and the mainland have been protesting against the ruling party. Tensions are high, to say the least, but the government won't admit just what Taiping Island is used for. A military expert said that the structures on the island have probably been built to prevent a land assault, and think that they could even be equipped with machine guns, artillery guns, or even anti-tank weapons. Hopefully, the world will never have to find out. Number 5. Diego Garcia Not to be confused with some guy you may know, Diego Garcia is the name of an island in the Indian Ocean. But this place has a bit of a sordid history. Diego Garcia is a remote UK site that was taken over in a fit of hostility. Any indigenous folk who left the island one day were not permitted to return. It's a tough spot to say the least. But in the 1960s and at the height of the Cold War, the UK government needed to make an arrangement with the United States regarding searching for any army installation in the Indian Ocean to keep an eye on the movement of the Soviet Union. And so Diego Garcia somehow was the solution. So the Brits essentially rented out the space to the Americans, making a big wad of dough in the process, but forcibly expelling the locals. And so while the goings-on at Diego Garcia may not involve chemical or nuclear warfare, the whole ordeal was kept on the down low with the intention of maintaining the good guy image for both the UK and the US. Number 4. Area 6 Area 51 has spawned movies, TV shows, video games, and may even turn up again on our list. But it's got a little-known cousin in Nevada named Area 6. No one really knew about it until a little invention called Google Earth managed to snap some photos and make them very public in March of 2016. Area 6 is home to the National Nuclear Security Administration. But the place is so darn secret that defense specialists haven't even heard about it yet. What are they doing in there? Well, allegedly there's some pretty high-level work going on in Area 6 that only those with the highest security clearance can know about. Who has that clearance? No one really knows for sure. But Area 6 has just one single runway, a major hangar, and a bunch of sheds. There is an office, though, used for the advancement of counter-terrorism and pilotless planes that can be seen leaving the base pretty frequently. There's also the rumor that radiation-identifying apparatus are tested there. But to what end? Only the folks inside know. And hey, if they use pilotless planes, then it could be safe to assume that all of Area 6 is run by robots getting ready to overthrow humans. Uh, maybe. Number 3. Mount Yamantau During the Cold War, the Soviet Union was all about secrets. They loved them so much that even after it disbanded, the public didn't find out what was really going on behind the scenes until years later. And so, the Russian facility on Mount Yamantau is not going to be an exception to the rule. Not by a long shot. Not long after the Cold War came to an official close, American satellites gathered some substantial evidence of a secret military base in the tallest mountain in the Russian Urals mountain range. Which was convenient, because there were other Russian military battalions, garrisons, and settlements not far from there. So naturally, the United States began to speculate. They believed that there was a third secret army on Mount Yamantau. But Russia isn't saying anything other than Mount Yamantau is a sustenance storeroom. A likely story. Number 2. U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases So, the penultimate entry on our list may be a bit of a stretch, but at the end of the day, this building is still holding plenty of secrets. The United States Army Medical Institute at Fort Detrick is handling all sorts of things, from anthrax to Ebola to even monkeypox. 
They've made significant contributions to vaccines and provide both the military and civilians with disease diagnosis and management. They have an important job over there. But it's also the only biosafety level 4 lab in the United States Ministry of Defense, and they employ both civil and military scientists to work around the clock coming up with cures. But a place like this just has to be tied to some sort of conspiracy theory because anything that requires that sort of clearance is going to be harboring an unfathomable amount of secrets. So whether some nefarious activity goes on in there, no one will ever really know. But with the number of horrendous diseases that could easily wipe out humanity that's being harbored there, you never really know. Number 1. Area 51 What else could it have possibly been? because no list of secret military bases is ever going to be complete without talking about Area 51. Smack dab in the middle of the Nevada desert is a dusty, unmarked road, which supposedly will take you right to the front gate of the infamous base. Area 51 is surrounded by lots of barbed wire and even more secrecy, and the only people who know what goes on there are the people who work inside. Some people say that the entire area with the fences is rigged with motion sensors so anyone who even attempts to break in will get caught in the blink of an eye. And it's the speculation, really, that's become more famous than Area 51 itself. The most obvious and famous theory is that the Roswell crash was actually a Soviet aircraft piloted by aliens, which is still inside the walls of the facility to this day. Others may tell you that the sound studio that may or may not exist inside is where they filmed the Apollo 11 moon landing. And while Area 51 is full of secrets that will likely never be unearthed, there is no doubt that they're all still incredibly fun to think about. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.